Hi everyone. <laughs> Sorry. Um, welcome to my channel. I am Gray. Um, I apologize for the condition that I am in. Um, I did something a week ago that uh, I guess didn't really work out. Um, some things I guess didn't really go well with other things and I'm assuming something went wrong because I've been in a funk for the last week and I've been actually trying to make this video for the last four days but it's just it hasn't been working out with me at all. Like, it's just not agreeing with me. Um, I'm just gonna give it one last shot, and if I look like crap, whatever. I'm just gonna post it. Um, <laughs> but I actually wanted to make a video about how a beginner would begin to start working with um, a god or goddess. Um, sorry, it's my morning tea. Um, so I would suggest to a beginning practitioner or to anyone who um, has been practicing for a while because we all know that in our crafting years or in the years that we practice, we're not always stuck with the same deity. I mean, we may have patron deities, but sometimes other deities come through um, the door to state their presence, that they're known. I don't know about you guys, but I do work with a couple of patron deities, but... Um, I know in dreams I get impressions, names, um, signs of other deities to come in. But this is a good way for beginners and those who've been practicing for a while. And those who've been practicing for a while, I know um, maybe they're a bit more knowledgeable what to do. But anyway, it's directing towards more towards the beginner. Alright, so what I would suggest for someone who is starting out working with a deity is to go on a reference, uh, go find a reference book online source, a list, or something your best friend got from his book of shadows, um, <clears throat> maybe a verbal list from your girlfriend or something, like, just find a reference. Um, one of the, uh, ones that I like to use a lot is God Checker. It's online. I think most of us know about God Checker. It's not good for, um, a lot of information, but it's good for, like, a brief, like, a briefing, um, but I would usually go through, because they have them listed. They have, like, uh, certain pantheons. Like, they have the Nordic pantheon, they have the Keltoi, Egyptian, Romanian, Aztec. Um, they, they're listed in their pantheons, they have a huge list. I would go through them and just pick whichever is drawn to you. Maybe you do have a name already and you're curious. Maybe you can find that name and go from there. But once you find that name you're drawn to, Take that name and do some deeper research about this this god and or goddess, and um, <clears throat> figure out their history, their mythology, where they come from, um, their correspondences, um, how to call them. And one thing that's really really helpful is figure out what they like for offerings. A lot of deities that I've worked with, um, after a while, it's kind of nice to just you know instead of just working being completely on a work partnership. To give them something because you want to keep them in your good their good favor. You want to be uh, on good terms with them. So figure out what they like to get offering. I know a lot of popular offerings are wine, bread, milk, um, honey. Those are really popular ones. I like Bacardi <laughs> um, because it's more of a universal thing. I know a lot of earth spirits don't like Bacardi, but a lot of ancestral ancestral energies, uh, spirits, of the human deceased and gods like Bacardi. <laughs> Nature spirits have my own thing for them, but um, I use Bacardi a lot and that usually gets a lot of uh, uh, positive uh, reactions when I use Bacardi. Um, so figure out what they want. So once you know your information and what they like to offer, I would suggest if you're just starting working out with this deity, um, for a week or two weeks, I would strictly, um, not really strictly, I mean like loosely strictly, but if you're doing any practicing with your craft or anything, um, working with that deity alone. Or long enough so you can understand and feel this individual's or this god or goddess's um, energies. Because when you're working with more than one deity, they each have a different energy pull to you. Like, uh... Hecate may have more of a different, more, like, a different feel, different pull, according to Caridwen may have another lighter pull. Not even a pull, maybe it's more of a push. Like, just spend a couple weeks working with this deity one-on-one, -on -one, um, 
so you can understand the energy pull, what they feel like. So when you're calling, when you're in this big ritual, if you do rituals or anything, or you're just walking or doing meditation, um, you can understand what this, um, who's pulling you, who's calling you. And, alright, so we got the references, you got the offerings, and we got the energies. I think those are three really main things you need to really worry about. Um, calling them is really universal when you're invoking them. Yeah, yeah. Oh gosh. Talk about invocation. Word. If you are, are not, would like me, a witch on a budget, <laughs> that can't afford the most expensive things, like milk. Milk is really expensive here in the States. I don't care about you, what people outside of that, uh, out of this country is, but milk is like $4. Four or five dollars where I'm at. Um, <laughs> it's expensive for a gallon. Um, but, uh, if you can't afford, like, eggs, leeks, uh, cakes, even a prayer, uh, personalized prayer, like an invocation, basically, um, I've noticed some literature gods and goddesses, like Pan, really like just having a prayer, um, but yeah, if you're on a budget, prayer or a poem or, uh, a letter to them could work as well. Why not as good as Bacardi? <laughs> I'm really pushing for that. <laughs> Spirits! Anyway, so, um, uh, I hope this helped you out, um, for anyone that's new, or to anyone who's been practicing, um, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you guys. I really would. I love conversation. Um, I haven't recently been going on my YouTube very often. I've been really distracted lately, recovering from what I, what has happened last week. But I am this, I am in the same cycle, so I've been, I did it again a couple days ago, so I'm just kind of like, ah, no. Anyway, but please leave a comment, like this video if you liked it, uh, subscribe if you want to hear more. Um, thank you for tuning in, and um, until ne next we meet, um, may good fortune smile in your favor, blessed be.